Welcome to Hedgesville Middle School. My name is Mrs. Elizabeth Adams, and I'm privileged to be the principal here at HMS. Mr. Bill Harper and Mr. Bobby Sisson are our assistant principals. We are excited to have you and welcome you to our school this year. In the next few minutes, you're going to learn what it means to be an Eagle here at HMS. We are having this orientation program for you, the student, and your parents so that you will have a better idea of where to go and what to expect on the first day of school. Do not worry, we will be working with you the first weeks of school to be sure you know where your classes are located and we will make sure you understand our expectations and are prepared to do your best each and every day. You're about to enter the best middle school in West Virginia. The reason I know that we're the best middle school is because we have the most outstanding teachers. The teachers that work together in this building are awesome. They care about their students, they want you to succeed, and they want you to be prepared when you advance on to high school. Hedgesville Middle School has the best cooks. Our cooks work hard to provide breakfast and lunch for our students and faculty. You will have a choice of hot lunch or some delicious salad choices. We also have the best custodians in West Virginia. The majority of our school was built in the 1920s and 1960s. As you walk around tonight, look at how beautiful our school is. Our custodians are responsible for the inside and outside of our building. We are proud of it. We all take care of it. And we expect all of you to take care of our building as well. If someone drops their books, help them pick them up. If you see a piece of paper on the floor, throw it away. It takes all of us working together to make HMS a wonderful place that we all want to be. We are also the best because we have the best students. They come to school, they come on time, and they come prepared to learn. We are proud that you are becoming a Hedgesville Middle Eagle, and we are sure that you will continue our long-standing tradition of scholastic excellence and good citizenship. We live by the motto, treat people the way you want to be treated. We will respect you and we expect the same in return. We are kind and respectful to each other at HMS. You will have more freedom in middle school, but with more freedom comes more responsibility. Be where you're supposed to be, do not touch each other, don't share food, and walk quickly to your classes. Walk on the right side of the hallway. This keeps traffic jams from happening. We want you to have fun at school, but your main reason for being here is to learn. Learning is our focus, and we expect you to put forth your best effort each and every day. One of my favorite authors is J.K. Rowling. I think that this quote from Albus Dumbledore exemplifies what we are asking of you here at HMS. It is our choices that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. If you give your best effort, make the choice to participate in class, do your homework and ask for help when you need it, your good choices will lead to success. Don't worry about remembering the location of your classes. Your teachers will be assisting you the first weeks of school. You will get the hang of it. Students and parents, there are several important things you need to know about HMS. The emergency card is now online and located at familyid.com. Please fill it out completely. Add extra names to your approved contact and pickup list. If your child is sick and your neighbor is not listed as an emergency contact, they will not be able to pick up your child. Medical information is extremely important. Please list any pertinent medical information, including allergies. This includes special diet information. Please update your family ID anytime information changes. This includes cell phone numbers and email addresses. Our school nurse is here to talk about any medical issues and dietary needs. If you have medical or dietary needs, you must speak with our nurse today so that the proper paperwork is filled out correctly for the first day of school. Also, sixth grade parents, please note that there are immunizations required for your student to enter the seventh grade. You may get them anytime this year and they are due in April. Students are permitted to bring water bottles to school. The bottles are for water only. Tea, Kool-Aid, soda, etc. will be thrown out. Faculty members do have the right to check bottles to ensure that they only contain water. We have four water filling stations throughout the school. 
Please be considerate and use our filling stations carefully and correctly. Students may have to keep water bottles on the floor and away from technology. Our county handbook is located on the Berkeley County Schools webpage. Please review the handbook with your student. Other information that is also located online with the county handbook is the Transportation Code of Conduct, Dress Code, Technology Acceptable Use Policy, and Attendance Information. Please review our rules and expectations with your child. Students can enter the building at 7.10 a.m. Please do not drop them off early. The school doors will be locked at 7.30 a.m. If you are late, you must buzz in at the front doors and sign in in the main office. Write a note if you are picking up your student early. If you write a note, your child will be waiting for you. Our school is spread out, and sometimes it's hard to find students, especially during lunchtime or when they're in gym. If you do not send a note and you try to pick them up after 2 p.m., you will not be able to sign them out until 2.30. Please remember that eighth period is just as important as first period. We are very strict about bullying at HMS. We have a zero tolerance policy. On Mondays of each week, your student will participate in Oveus Bullying Prevention class meetings. These meetings include lessons on cyber safety and what to do when bullying occurs. Tell an adult at school and at home. If you're a bystander and witness bullying, again, tell an adult at home and an adult at school. We want our school to be a kind and happy place to learn. It takes all of us working together to make this happen. Please remember, anything that you put on social media is there forever. We are asking that you only bring school-related technology to school. Don't bring toys, iPods, cell phones, Apple Watches, AirPods. These are expensive items that could be stolen and are not needed during the school day. Cell phones. If your cell phone rings and you are texting, or if it falls out of your pocket, it will be taken away and you will retrieve it from the main office at the end of the school day. Parents, please don't call or text your student during the school day. It is a huge distraction in the classroom. Phones should be turned off when entering the building and remain off until 2.30. Dress code. Please, no short shorts or skirts. Skirts must cover your mid-thigh when you are sitting down. Clothing must not be see-through. You need to wear two inch straps on tank tops. No undergarment should be showing. No midriff should be showing. And if you have holes in your pants, please wear leggings underneath. If you're not sure, please err on the side of caution. The best way to stay up to date with HMS Eagle News is to visit our school webpage. Our school website contains weekly principals updates and events calendar, sports information, counselor resources, parent and student links, and additional information on life at HMS. Make sure you are signed up to receive in-touch messages and be sure you have updated your school to say Hedgesville Middle. All Hedgesville Middle School students will be issued a mobile device for instructional use only. Students will be responsible for taking proper care, reporting any damage or defects, and for bringing their device to school fully charged every school day. Schoology is the platform where students' courses, assignments, and grades are maintained. Students and parents need a Schoology account. By logging into your parent Schoology account, you will find it easy to keep up to date with your students' assignments and grades. You can sign up for daily or weekly updates on your child's progress. To get started, you will need a parent access code. Please contact our technology specialist if you need assistance with Schoology. We hope that you will follow HMS on social media. Follow us on Twitter at HMS Eagles Tweet, Instagram at HMS.Eagles, and on Facebook at HMS Home of the Eagles. You will be on a team here at Hedgesville Middle. Get to know your team teachers. Each team has a team leader. You can email all teachers, you can set up team meetings, and meet with all teachers at one time. A team is kind of like a school within a school. All the teachers will have a common planning time. If you have a question or concern about something that happened in class or on an assignment, 
please contact the teacher first before contacting a counselor or an administrator. Again, we have the greatest faculty, we look forward to working with you, and we know that it will be a great year. Hi, I'm Bobby Sisson, Assistant Principal here at HMS in charge of discipline and testing. We have three major parts to our discipline system at HMS. First, each team has their own discipline policy. Students will learn to follow their team expectations and rules. It's incredibly important to listen and follow your teacher's classroom rules. You can and will get in trouble if you're disrespectful or disruptive in any class. Some consequences may be a phone call home, team lunch detention in your classroom, or losing your recess time at lunch. Next, we have a school-wide reward system called Nest Notes. Nest Notes are for minor infractions that interrupt the flow of class, such as being unprepared, Chromebook not being charged, being caught using your cell phone or smartwatch, or chewing gum. If students receive three or fewer Nest Notes and have no discipline referrals, they will receive a reward at the end of each nine weeks. Lastly, I will be handling all discipline referrals. A referral is a formal write-up if you break school rules or expectations. I will always meet with you and call home to communicate what you have done and what consequences you will have in response to your actions. Please remember, it's never okay to put your hands on someone else, even if you're just joking around. You must also be very conscious of your interactions on social media. Even things you post or message outside of the school building can have consequences. Bullying and harassment that happens outside of school hours, your parents can call local law enforcement. Issues like this at school will result in disciplinary action. Some of our consequences for referrals may include school lunch detention and loss of your recess at lunchtime, one to two hours of after school detention, in school suspension, out of school suspension, transitional school, or even expulsion. Moving on to testing. All students will be completing IXL throughout the school year and the West Virginia General Summative Assessment or WVGSA. Teachers will utilize the IXL program to help students throughout the school year in math, reading, and language arts or ELA. Every week you will be completing questions in IXL to show you are making progress and to identify what you need to work on. You will also have specific skills you will be able to work on each week. The best part is we will be rewarding you for your hard work. We have awesome prizes and leaderboard recognition based on your work in IXL. Next, the WVGSA, or West Virginia General Summative Assessment, will be taken during the spring. All students will complete math, ELA, and reading, and our eighth graders will also complete a science assessment. You will be able to access your IXL scores on your own throughout the school year. Your WVGSA scores are sent home at the beginning of the following school year. Remember, the results of all assessments are used to guide your remediation or enrichment throughout each school year in order for you to grow as much as possible. Hi, I'm Mr. Harper, one of the assistant principals here. I am in charge of special ed and attendance. Coming to school is very important to your education. You need to be in school. If you happen to be absent, you must bring a note within 72 hours of returning to school. If not, it will be considered an unexcused absence. Turn in a note to your homeroom teacher. If you have five unexcused absences, a letter and a legal notice will be sent to your parents and it will have a date and time for you and your parents to attend a conference with myself to discuss your absences. If you reach 10 unexcused absences, the county can begin legal proceedings against you and your parents. One of our goals this year is to work with students that are chronically absent. As you can see from the chart, if a student misses an average of two days per month by the eighth grade, they will have lost a year of instruction. If they miss an average of three days a month, they will lose a year of instruction by the end of their fifth grade. And if they miss an average of four or five days a month, they will lose a year of instruction by the end of the third grade. You need to be in school. If not, you may be designated as a chronically absent student. We are working to put positive interventions into place to help you get back in school on a regular basis. We will be making home visits, having parent meetings, having support groups, and teacher mentors. You also need to be in school on time. If you are tardy, the following will occur. After your second unexcused tardy to school, I will call your parents and advise them that if you reach four unexcused tardies to school within a nine week period, you will receive lunch detention. If you reach five unexcused tardies to school, you will have an hour of after school detention followed by two hours of after school detention for any additional 
tardies. If you are sick in the morning and then feel better and you come to school, make sure you bring a note from your parents. If so, it can be considered an excused tardy. Last but certainly not least, I am your contact for any special education questions. So please contact me if you have any questions or concerns. Also, if you have a question or concern about a class your son or daughter is in and you email the teacher, please CC me as well. Remember, we must work together to ensure your son or daughter is successful. The counselors at HMS are here to provide all students with the social, emotional, career, and academic supports they need to have a successful year. The counseling program consists of individual student planning and counseling, group counseling during lunch groups, and classroom lessons through school-wide prevention programs. Students will be able to contact their school counselor using the counselor request form located on the HMS website and on Schoology. When you log on to Schoology, you will notice that all of our classes are color-coded. For example, first period for all students will be red, second period is orange, third period is yellow, fourth period is green. Fifth period is a non-graded period that happens around lunchtime, and that is where we hold OVAIS and advisory lessons, as well as provide remediation for our students. Sixth period is blue, seventh period is purple, and eighth period is pink. You may want to buy color-coded folders to help your students stay organized. When you look at your schedule, please pay close attention to the classes that are first semester and second semester classes. Sixth grade students will have gym the first semester. Some students have elected to take band, choir, or strings. These classes are full year courses. If you have chosen general music, you will look on your schedule to see if you have facts, family and consumer science, or general music for the first semester. Now let's take a brief tour of our building. The front part of our school was built in the 1920s. This area was originally the K-12 grade school that was located in Hedgesville. Next, we have the HMS Library. Here is our Hedgesville Middle Gymnasium. We cheer on our Eagle basketball teams and cheerleaders. Here is our gorgeous cafeteria. If you're a sixth grader, you will be on Team K or Team A. This is the Team K hallway. This is the Team A hallway. At this time, you're welcome to tour HMS on your own. We have student council guides in the hallways to assist you. Please make sure that you do not lose your schedule and bring it with you on the first day of school. Please visit our nurse for medical needs or questions and technology assistance with Family ID and with Schoology is available in our HMS library. This orientation video will be posted on the HMS website if you would like to view it again. Thank you for your attention and welcome to Hedgesville Middle. It's going to be a great school year.